and um, and just digest all of the info that I'm breaking down. All right. So welcome to the PSBL. Welcome to the PSBL, home of the KOL, and now the Wild Games. The the newest addition, the newest contribution, the newest entry of tournaments. All right. As I'm talking, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little parched, and when I get parched, the the thing that Vader Games always makes sure to get is a ting. Ting, sparkling grapefruit <laughs> juice tastes nice. Proud contributor and sponsor of Vader Games channel. Much respect, Ting. Ah, tastes fresh and nice. Wow. All right. You actually heard the sound effects. You did. Oh, it's crisp. Crisp. <laughs> Mike is crisp. <laughs> All right. All right. So the PSPL, you guys are now part of the greatest collection of fa FIFA fans competing to showcase their FIFA superiority. The ultimate pursuit to secure the ultimate bragging rights for FIFA 18. One of our goals, one of your goals, one of my goals, is to establish a long-lasting competitive friendship based off of gaming relationships. So it just happens naturally. We all like to compete, but at the same time, there's a natural competitive bond that just happens. Boys be boys, just joking around, clowning on people, but at the same time, just meeting up and having a good time, you know what I mean? So online gaming is where it's at. The fun, the respectful and inclusive gaming will follow players within this league forever, across the world. This league isn't isn't just, it's not geo limited. So yes, the founders are, are from Toronto, based in Toronto, but this league has, has expanded internationally. All right. And with that being said, you're going to, you're going to create some bonds with players across, across the world. All right. So one thing I want to tell you guys, make sure your control, your controller is fully charged up. All right. Tell your loved ones that you're going to be involved in a very intense league tournament. All right. Make sure you get that straight. Let them know because this league is going to consume you, but in a good way. All right. So tell your loved ones that you're going to be in the mix of some intense FIFA gaming. All right. We're, the league has told me, and I feel, the, I feel the same way. They're thrilled for all the new members that are now part of the league, all the new entries, and everyone that is a vet or returning player within the PSBL make every new member feel welcome. You know what I mean? They're going to have some questions, you know, take the time and, and, you know, help them direct them into the right direction on how to get some, uh, get some help or get the information that they need and how to maybe avoid some of the, some of the natural pitfalls that kind of happen for new players. Okay. The focus of the PSPL wild games tournament, the only tournament of its kind that gives extended enjoyment of your favorite soccer game. Accepting the PSBL challenge will make you better gamer because only the best compete at the PSBL. So if you're competing amongst the best, you're going to become the best. That's how it is. We all know this. We've competed. We're all athletes. We've been athletes. That's what it takes. All right. PSBL expectations, guys. All right. The PSBL expectations. There's not many things are going to be asked of you, but so that everyone can get linked in, we're going to be sharing some information with, with regards to our PSN accounts. We're going to establish some Twitter accounts. We're going to establish some Twitch accounts if you don't have them already. And based off of those three things, when you get them all set up, everyone can stay in the loop. Everyone can enjoy the gaming that's going down because not, not every time you're going to be in the party chat, you're going to be online when some of your fellow PSBL guys are going to be playing. So in turn, you can definitely tune in and check out, check the games out on Twitch. You can stay, stay up to date with all the alerts that happen over Twitter. Cause that's how we're going to communicate over Twitter, setting up games and responding to like some trash talk that, that, that definitely happens. So with your PSN, your Twitch, and your Twitter, everyone's going to stay in the loop. Everyone's going to know what's going down, and you're going to see some intense matches on Twitch. Trust me, my Twitch account has some amazing highlights and clips, and you're going to want to do the same because all the jokes that happen. I was just playing the other night with, um, with like four or five guys from the PSBL, and it was jokes for like hours. You don't want to miss any of that stuff, all right? So... Um, I'm going to go into that stuff a little in, in more depth, but one thing, one I want to jump into right now, because that's what, that's what everyone's here for, is the wild games and how it's set up. So top level, top level, because I'm going to go in way more depth, but what the league has done is taken all the great elements of all the past tournaments and they put them together. All right. And what they're going to do right off the jump is start this season off with a reminder that there are no duplicate teams. 
but with a catch. There's a catch this time. All right. Mm -hmm. So because the league is so so hardcore about no duplicate teams, we know this. The league was founded and saying no, we're not having duplicate teams. That's whack. Why? Why is there going to be like five Barca players playing against each other? That that's not cool. <laughs> All right. But if you're a fanboy, you you got your team. I'm a Man City fan. You guys know that baby blue. Then you got you got Liverpool fans out there, hardcore. You got Arsenal fans, hardcore. You got um, uh, you got Chelsea fans, hardcore. Barca, Real, Juventus, some hardcore fans out there. You know you had you now Tigres, some hardcore fans. San yeah. Santos, who am I forgetting? Hmm. Man City, Bayern Munich, Man Man United. Yeah, Man City, of course. Oh, this thing is so fresh. I can't. Sorry, guys. One second. Let me. Let me get. Actually, Ting asked me to start drinking it like this. <laughs> All right. So. This guy always drinks the label out. The element. Trust me, that's what they told me to do. It's all about product placement. So, the league told me about how are they setting this up. Yo, ID, thanks for tuning in. No, PS community is, is, is really toxic. Yo, ID, if you got a PS4 and you like FIFA, follow my channel. Um, there's definitely going to be... The, the Nightbot is on a mission tonight. It's going to send you some information. So if you want to be a part of the PSPL, trust me, the community is amazing. You're going to want to be involved with this. All right? You're going to want to be involved with this. All right, sorry. Let me let me let me move on from this. Now, the great elements that they've taken from past tournaments. Part of the great elements has been the no duplicate teams. All right. So what I was saying, there's a little catch to the duplicate teams this time. Okay. So you can you can be your fanboy team if your fanboy team is Man U and there's another player in the league newly joined within the Wild Games tournament and they're also a Man U fan. It's it's a potential problem because what's going to happen from the from the jump is that the league has said wild games is going to be groups you're going to there's going to be random drafts of all the players currently entered into this tournament so everyone that said yes i'm available to, to play for this tournament has been entered those that were kind of like eh, those that were like oh, i want to wait and see because they don't know about the intensity they're going to have to wait until the next tournament which will which will happen in may so everyone that's going to be involved in this april tournament has been entered now what's going to happen is Every name is going to get drawn, and there are, uh, how many groups are there? I, I believe that there's six groups. No, there's four groups. Sorry, there's four groups. Yeah, four groups of six. There's four groups of six. So, the random draft that's going to go down, and I still have to prep that, unfortunately, but the random draft that's going to go down is that every name that's been entered is going to get randomly drawn and placed into an individual group now based off of that individual group for example one group is going to be the dragon group the next another group might be the lion group the next group might be the cobra group um, another group might be the elephant group okay so there's there's different groups there's going to be four groups of six those names drawn if there happens to be of those six that happen to be in one group, so let's say the dragon group, all six players. If those six players, if any of them have a duplicate team, there will be a one game playoff. A one game playoff. The winner of that one game can hold on to their team. The loser loses the right to that team, that fanboy team that they have, and have to pick their second team. But. If their second team is a first choice team by someone else in that group, they lost that team. If their third selection team is a first select, if their third selection team, their third pick team is actually a first selection by another player as well within that group, they lost that third option. All right. So what the league has established, they've, they've sent out the information that's, that has nothing to do with like, it's just how the, the league runs. They've sent out information to select players top five favorite teams to play with 
If that hasn't been submitted, it's going to be submitted tonight. It's got to be submitted tonight. I think the league is probably going to give a one day bly so that in that information can be received tomorrow before end of day. Now, when they have that information and based off the groups, they'll establish the pl they'll establish the, the playoffs and the playoffs will happen this week. We understand that there's going to be new. There's new players in the league. They're going to have to get their Twitch account set up. They're going to have to get their uh, Twitter account set up. They're going to have to make sure that they're following the league and following some key players, i.e. me, Vader Games, the man with the mic, the people's champ. They're here to give you the information. You're going to want to make sure you're following the key, the key components of the league. You're going to want to make sure you're following that. And then you're all set up and then you can terror terrorize everyone within your group. Okay. That's going to be the mission. So tonight there's going to be the draft of all players that have entered this tournament and that will be placed in one of the four groups. All right. I went over the duplication of teams. You want to make sure that you provide all five teams that you want to play with. I'm going to, I'm going to check real quick to see what the messages are like on. Um, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you got some porn in. Yo, I see the messages coming in. My bad. Um, yo. Yo, dat. Dat boy. Dat boy. Yo, respect for tuning in. Thanks for the message. No, I'm not allowing for any links. I'm not allowed for any links, but if you're following the channel, much respect. And we can exchange information either via whisper or or direct. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter. I'm always I'm always very supportive of those that are supporting me. All right, you give or you receive, you give back. That's how it goes, right? Okay. So the group stages and that the draft is going to be happening tonight. I'm going to make sure that that selection happens live on Twitch. You guys are going to see it. Um, and then in, in addition to that, I'm going to kind of go through the expectations of what the leagues are. So of what the tournament set up and, all, and the whole format, what that's all about. Um, what else do I want to chime in here? Okay, so the league has...